Sorry guys, I got the uh, phone mounted to my bike, so it's kind of hard to tilt it and turn the steering wheel and keep an eye on what I'm looking at and looking down at the camera. So he is officially under arrest, precinct 8. Pause it, and the other action comes out, I'll start the kid. Okay, she came back out while I was looking down, but she moved quick. She is now talking to the other officer. Can help? No, thank you. What? No, thank you. Okay, make sure you're all right. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. You want help? That's exactly what I'm doing. So that officer up there spotted me. They know me. Precinct 8 has been really cordial with me, so much respect. They, I, I have to tell you, them guys have given me so much respect. And as far as not knowing the laws, I can't give them respect on that because they're statutes, codes, and policies. They're not following constitutional or lawful laws. But other than that, they give me respect on recording. So. Except for the uh, guy the other night that thought he was going to be able to, thought he was in a war zone and was going to shoot me and hit me in the head with a tennis ball because supposedly I jumped out of the bushes. <laughs> uh. I'm going to see if I can get her uh, name and badge number from all the way up there. If I see her look this way, I'll ask her, guys. She's good 60 feet away. So, you see, I, I'm here's the median. Here's the uh, feeder, I should say. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, about 50 feet away. So I'm going to put right at 50. I'm pretty good with measurements. I used to be a electrician, so I know about measurements and pulling wire and distances. Yeah, I can't see you up there, but I can't really see you, but I do have a question. Ma'am, I do have a question. What's your name and badge number? I can't hear you, sir. Are you me? Yeah, I was asking, what's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number? You can hear me. I'm talking louder than I was a, a few minutes ago. Look, I was giving y'all a good rep, and now you don't want to identify. I'm sitting here talking to all these people on live stream about how professional y'all are, and then all of a sudden you can't hear me. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. See, all we want is transparency. We're here for for both, for everybody. And you know, you want to you want to try to make them shine, and you want them to you know you want to interact with the public. But that's what happens when you interact. Now, we had nothing bad to say about these officers. Everybody loves Precinct Eight, Precinct Two, and you know you've got four, five, six officers that just refuse to identify it's a simple question by law they're supposed to we just want transparency now i was going to make them shine but so i guess i won't do that no more thank you for your cooperation she can't hear me now but she heard me earlier Wow. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to pause it. She's on the phone. 
So I can imagine there's probably going to be, she's probably calling for backup for an officer to come see me. She, she's paranoid. She's, who knows? But, but can't answer a simple question. That's ridiculous. Oh my gosh, man, if I had a better camera, oh god. You know, I work, but I got a lot of bills I gotta pay. I, I, I'm living paycheck to paycheck. Still out here trying to make some kind of difference with these officers. This just ain't gonna cut it. They, they're walking in the center. There they are. Mm. Well, it looks like they're gonna go ahead and let the other two. I don't know. They're gonna tow it and expect them to get a ride. Maybe they've been all been drinking or something. I don't know. Alright guys, I'm going to cut it here because I'm just not going to get the good footage. I'm not going to get close enough to really hear anything or see anything. Much love. Thanks guys. Safe travels.